Hey guys, Dudes Ruth here back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG video and today we're taking a look at my Tenpai Dragon deck list that went 6-1 at the Kaiduelist Battle Frontier Week 3. So 6-1 is my best record with Tenpai so far and it's been an incredible week of dueling and I can say that Tenpai Dragon is shaping up to be one of the best going second engines in Yu-Gi-Oh! and it's great to see an archetype um, compete against the meta straight out of the box, especially in a very competitive uh, Snake Eyes Fire King format, along with alongside with stuff like Voiceless Voice uh, dominating the OCG meta game. So it's really great to see that uh, a new deck like Tenpai, in its first wave of support, can just uh, flat out uh, win games on its own. So let's get started with the deck list. So we're going to go with uh, the main deck, we're going to explain the engine size, staples, and hand traps. So for context, we're running uh, 22 hand traps in this deck, so this is the spicy part here. We're running hand trap tenpai, which is way different from the last one I had when I won in an OTS, which had 16 board breakers. So we're going to go with the 22 hand trap build here, I'm going to explain why. But first, we're going to start with the Tenpai Engine. So Tenpai Engine, pretty straightforward. 3 by Dora adds to hand or sets a spell, one of their Sangen spells. Zhong Dora allows you to go into, um, allows you to uh, extend by special sum summoning from hand, or you can special summon a Tenpai Dragon from deck during the damage step. Fedora allows you to revive Tenpai Dragons uh, on summon or during damage step, always handy. We're gonna go with uh, the three field spell. Um, add the uh, Tenpai Dragon at the cost of a discard. Protects your fire dragons during main phase one from activated effects. And when this gets destroyed, you can double the attack of a dragon synchro monster. Really nasty field spell, really powerful field spell. And then last for the engine, we have Sangen Kaimen. So Sangen Kaimen can allow you to add a fire dragon to your hand and special summon it. Um, during main phase, you can only choose one of those, but during battle phase, you can activate both in sequence. So uh, we're going to go with the 14, um, 14 card engine. So we're going to cut one Fedora. So last time I ran 15, but we're just going to cut because we want to see less Fedora and uh, see more consistency tools. So that is the engine. So for the staples, just for consistency tools, terraforming to search the field spell, prosperity to dig to whatever you need, uh, duster and heavy storm just for back row removal. Uh, I play in the Philippines where back row uh, tends to always appear. Floodgates love to appear in our meta. So, you know, just have to be careful. So that's four staples, and we're gonna go with the hand traps. So hand traps, we have 22 hand traps for today, and it's really insane. So we're gonna go with, uh, start off with two bestials. So we're gonna go with one Magnumot and one Druusworm. Magnumot searches any Tenpai Dragon, can also search Druusworm, of course. But, you know, if you're going second, you summon Magnumot and end phase. This allows you to get something like Bidora. And you know, you have you you're guaranteed to at least have a way to get your play started. Really crazy. And we have three Vagor. Uh, face up negates are always handy in most meta situations. So yeah, not once per turn, and you know, just really good. Uh, we're in OCG land, so we're gonna play three Maxi. Uh, definitely there. You know. <laughs> We, you, if you don't play Maxi in OCG, it's uh, very risky. Uh, 3 Ash, you know, uh, we can't remove Ash because Maxi exists. Uh, 2 Ghost Ogre, actually really good right now. Um, Ghost Ogre can counter stuff like um, the Fire King Continuous spell, uh, just as long as the field spell is in there. Uh, this is really great against Voiceless Voice because uh, you can answer the Voiceless Voice barrier and that blows them up. 
and you can cut off a lot of plays with this really good uh, there are some problematic uh, field spells and continuous spells that you want you can break runic with this at, at the right timing you can also uh, in um, tenpai dragon mirrors you can just break the field spell of tenpai and just uh, make sure that you don't get uh, otk or take less damage so uh, two ghost bell ghost bell is also really good um, you can answer called by, you can answer stuff like bestials, you can answer graveyard recovery with this, it's really handy right now. Also stops um stops like uh low from voiceless voice uh from reviving, or you can stop like uh Safira, which is really good right now. Two shifter, um sometimes this wins you games because your opponent can't play without their graveyard and Tenpai can OTK under Shifter, that's worth noting, so 2 Shifter because, uh, well, OCG Battles only allows us to play 2. And um, 2 Nibiru, so I think my hot take here is Nibiru, uh, during my 6-1 run, was the worst uh, hand trap in my deck for some reason because I rarely resolve it, I only use it to discard using um, Sangan Mirror, so... Uh, Opponent rarely summons 5. Uh, I've faced Chimera in Voiceless. And against Chimera, I didn't really see too much of this. Against Voiceless, they play really conservative. So Nibiru tends to just stick in your hand awkwardly. And last for the 22, we have 3 Imperm. Imperm and Vader just uh, shut down whatever on-field effects you need to do. You need to target, and it's always really good. You can, of course, play Imperm during your turn. That's always the thing. And that is a uh, clean 40. So 14 engine, 22 hand traps, and the four others are just uh, the regular consistency slash board breakers. So that's, uh, that's the main deck. That's a clean 40. We're going to go with the extra deck first. So we're going to go first with the generics. Uh, Typhon, just uh, in a way to shut down boards, give you uh, give you some extra grind game. SP Little Knight, uh, just generic link to DPE style effect. Uh, seals, seals pass is uh, one of the jokes here when you're forced to go first, but um, seals seals tends to work uh, as intended. Really, really good. We have the super poly targets. We have. Uh, my dragon Garura for whatever you need or whatever is on your opponent's board so really handy I ran um, a starving venom because I was expecting um, some dark decks Chimera tends to have two darks on field sometimes and uh, was also thinking of labyrinth but labyrinth kind of fell off in the meta so uh, I might remove this so it's going to be uh, something to consider. Next, we're going to go with the Synchro. So Vagnawa. Vagnawa is the budget option because I don't have Black Rose Moonlight for now, but that's fine. Vagnawa allows you to deal burn damage based on the level of like uh, your tuner or non-tuner. can't remember. It also gains an attack boost uh, from your material. So it's really good for extra damage push just in case. Next we have uh, Black Rose Dragon, your board wipe. You can, you if you have the field spell, you can summon this, uh, wipe the opponent's board, and if you have Sang and Kaiman on hand, you can just uh, start your OTK line there, in on an empty field. So that's really cool. Next we have the the level seven uh, Biden Dragons. So this revives a Fire Dragon from your uh, graveyard. You use this to get your Tenpai names back on the field, or you can even return Black Rose for some reason. Really insane. But you just really want to bring back your smaller Tenpais, just for that. For the level 10s, we have Baron de Fleur. Baron is really good. Uh, gives you a decent Omni Negate. With Bestials and Zhongdora, it's way easier to pull off, just in case you need like a uh, way to break boards or pop. Uh, Rudy Rose is really impressive in this deck because Rudy Rose just uh, kills recovery so you can just banish both players graveyards banishing your opponent's graveyard is really insane so uh, really handy just in case you can't win during the battle phase but 
you just want to cut off your opponent's recovery and you know a lot of decks need stuff in their graveyard to recover so that's really good and last uh not second to last i mean you have two of the super transcend dragon uh this shuts down opponent effects during battle phase forces all monsters to in attack position on your opponent's field which is really insane i love this card uh, really powerful way to win games and another win button your main damage dealer is trident dragon really old card that's found a home in tenpai so when it gets someone you can target up to two uh, cards in your field destroy them and it gains attacks uh, based on the number of cards you destroyed uh, pair this with sang and kaimen this turns into 6,000 attack three attacks so 18,000 damage really crazy and yeah that's the extra deck really really straightforward uh for the otk lines uh, really consistent uh with some extra generic uh monsters just in case uh you want extra grind game now we go to the side deck last part of this video two droll droll did not come up too much but then again Stuff like Fluanderies is common here. So, you know, you kind of want draw. Next, we have two Lightning Storm, extra board breaker, just in case we need um, more. You know, just in case we need more back row removal. That's always fine. Two Super Poly. Uh, might main this because Super Poly is really, really good against a lot of boards right now. Fire, you can just wipe a Fire King board. You can... Uh, win 10 pie mirrors and you can even disrupt chimera with this always handy Two cosmic cyclone just in case the back row in question cannot be destroyed like runic fountain always great to have that uh, three forbidden droplet forbidden droplet allows you to have non-targeting face up negate uh, really great against voiceless uh, next we have <clears throat> Three, uh, dimensional barrier, always really handy. When you're go when you're forced to go first, you can just shut down um, stuff like Chimera, Voiceless, and even Ten by Mirrors. Calling those, um, this this is kind of bad against Fire King, but you know you kind of wanna side in Super Poly, Cosmic, and Droplet in those matchups. Even Droll sometimes, but I don't think Droll is that good against uh, Snake Eye most of the time. And lastly, Red Reboot, because trap cards exist. And Red Reboot is legal. You just want to make sure you don't deal with those uh, janky battle traps or stuff like Threatening Roar or Rob Waboku. Because those can be annoying, but uh, those see niche play. But then again, you just want to be a bit more careful. And of course, Floodgates, you know. So I guess that's it for the... That's it for the deck list. So that's the side deck. Here's the extra deck. And here's the main deck. Um, I guess final thoughts. Uh, during my week, I faced four Chimera decks, which was a lot. And it was a matchup I really wanted to face and win against because I want to see if I can handle Chimera going second, especially the with their new Legacy of Destruction support, like um, Nightmare Apprentice and Diabels, which is... Uh, an anti-spell, a walking anti-spell, which is crazy. Also, f uh, faced uh, Runic. Runic stun is always annoying. And somehow this deck, uh, Tenpai can outgrind Runic sometimes. Because they have uh, really good board breaking and really good consistency. Just make sure you, uh, they don't banish your back row removal. So that's always, uh, always annoying when they do. And I also faced Voiceless Voice. Um... Tenpai tends to have a decent matchup against Voiceless Voice, but then again, um, a full Voiceless board is always tricky to handle. So stuff like um, Forbidden Droplet alongside like a Heavy Storm, Lightning Storm, or Duster is always really good to uh, break their board easy, easily or much easier. And yeah, that's my uh, Tenpai Dragon deck list. And uh, I'm having so much fun with this deck. I like this. I like how viable it is competitively and uh this is really good when uh 
when you know uh, OCG events will be back. That's really cool. And uh, I can't wait to also see this in Asian English and TCG. I think people would like this deck. People would like to try this deck. There's going to be a lot of fun factor here. But for now, this is the Tenpai Dragon decklist that went 6-1. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions about Tenpai, how to use it, um, tech that you can use, engines that you can use, cards that you want to try, you can ask me in the comment section. You can like this video to support the channel. You can also share this video to people who are interested in trying out Tenpai. You can also subscribe to the channel. That would be really awesome to help this channel grow. But for now, thanks for watching once again. Uh, I'll see you in the next video and uh, goodbye guys.